There's a little bit of red in his coat here, reflecting from the collar. Even on the little ridge of his shoulder there, so we're going to... Again, like I said earlier, it helps to unify the painting. Okay, we're just going to go in now with a smaller brush. We're going to add some, some of these little darks and a little bit of detail around the eyes. I just want to kind of establish the, uh, the dark dark area of the eye and just enough he's got nice expressive eyes just a beautiful eye area on this uh, on this dog here Let's get some of those darks in and around. His eyes, the owner of this dog, has told me that this is the best dog he's ever had. This was an adopted dog from a humane society. And oftentimes, those are the most grateful dogs. And they just make the best companions. So I always have a soft spot for the, for the adopted dog. And you can just see that this was a good dog, just, he just kind of has that look. Okay, let's go, let's go up the bridge of the nose here a little bit since we've got some soft dark paint on our brush. Get that to kind of establish that ridge there. Also soften the top of the nose while we're at it. A little dark here, right under under the nose. We'll come back in there dark there, a little gray, uh, a little dark gray areas here. So while I've got, you know, some gray on my brush, I'm just going to kind of touch some of these areas where I see that color. Definitely up on the ear here. Okay guys, I'm kind of, at the moment I'm kind of running around, jumping around different parts of the painting, just adding kind of some elements that I think it needs. So uh, I'm not going to talk that much, I just want to, I want you to see, I'm just going to work my way around. This is clearly a clearly a lighter area in here and lift it with just a little bit of yellow I'm also seeing some of that up here Okay, so you're probably wondering when I'm going to fix some of these areas, so let's do it now. 
eventually you get to these things because they become sort of a distraction. You don't really want any hard edges down in here because they're going to distract, so you want to sort of soften these, these areas up. Okay, so we're going on a tour here to sort of soften some areas. subtle some of the things that you want to do to give this guy soften his face here um, we want to come back in here with a little bit of yellow and there's a line right there that you know obviously needs to be softened show you how this guy's looking here. His eyes still need a little work but they're looking pretty good so let me just uh, pull back here a little and show you. Now we need to go in and we need to work on these ears. Um, and at the same time I just want to soften the nose there a little, a little bit. Sorry. There we go. There we go, I'll have to soften that up a little. Okay, now let's go in here and we're going to work on these ear areas. Um, these darker areas are, are like darker, uh, cooler, purplish colors. Um, so we're going to kind of work on some of that. Then we're going to go in here and try to get this reddish color. Uh, and so let's, let's work on the ears a little bit. So I like to use alizarin, which is a cool red, along with ultramarine blue to get a nice purple. So that's what we're going to do right in here. It's going to probably go on pretty dark. There's a shape right there. I'm going to define the ear with some of these dark shapes. Nice dark spot right in here. We want to get. Okay, so we're going to leave leave this ear for now we're going to come to the other ear where we definitely have a dark spot there some darkness in there right along the edge of the ear there some dark 